P2B can never give you bribe. Yes, sir. He will not if you give you money to eat food. Mm. He's the only man that told them for them back up. I won't give you money. That's right. A bold and fearless man. Yes, sir. He has something upstairs. Yes, sir. I have never spoken anything about governor or president in my life to vote. Yes, sir. But I'm here to tell you, never you kill your, your destiny by collecting 20,000, 10,000 again. Both the Northerners hearing me, one, me, I've, I'll keep on saying it, if you are wise, know what to do. I never see Peter be in my life before. I don't know him. That's true, sir. And I don't want to know him. But I listen to his speech. It is with me. Uh, and I see hope in his mouth. Peter B is the right man. That's yes, right. Sir. You are speaking facts, sir. Never. Hey, hello. I want to plead that you watch this video till the end. If you don't watch till the end, you will misunderstand what I am talking about in this video. Thank you and God bless you. I hear some preachers saying that the media beaming light on their immorality is an attack on the body of Christ. It's not an attack on the body of Christ. It's God bringing you to the threshing floor. Our generation do not know that God hates false prophets. They make you worthless by what they are saying. They speak a vision of their own heart, not from the mouth of the Lord. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, Give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much and God bless you. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus. I appreciate God for you. Thank you so much, all of you. I want to say that I am grateful to you all. Um, and glory be to God for keeping us alive today. Yeah, just an update on the disgraceful Reverend Father Camillus A.G.K. Mbaka. The Enugu Catholic Diocese has suspended Reverend Father A.G.K. Mbaka uh, for his unchristian, uh, very disgraceful, um, you know, unworthy attitude and utterances that uh, this man has been spewing from his mouth. You know, I did a video uh, two days ago where I branded A.G. Kembaka as a disgrace. And I meant it with every bint of me. Uh, the man is a disgrace. There has been so much controversies coming from this man just because of his greed. He is a priest for Christ's sake, but I do not understand. You know, somebody was asking, um, what was responding to... A comment where somebody said uh A.G. Kimbaka should concentrate on his calling and somebody asked a question and said which call who called him who beeped him who flashed him and so he is a disgrace and it's like you see um he is in this thing for money this was the man that uh few few months or few weeks after endorsing good luck jonathan when his wife the then first lady visited his adoration uh, ground, he praised them, uh, even endorsed them for a second time. And probably while the woman was leaving, uh, she didn't do what A.G. Um, uh, you know, thought she would do. And so the next, the following months, he, he did a message that he titled from good luck to bad luck. Now, this is the kind of a person that we are dealing with. We are not stopping because we want him to go back. Even if you don't come here, we keep praying for him. Because the first one we did, we were not here. We are not psychophantic. Because you and your husband have done well in spite of the distractions. They are distracting you so that you will not achieve much. You have done this without distraction. What of it? There is no distraction. So go ahead. Go with the consolation of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Lord says, God will make your family. 
So the uh, Catholic Diocese of Enugu has suspended the chaplain of Enugu Adoration Ministry, Reverend Father Camillus EJK Baka, from all activities of the church. The suspension followed Father Mbaka's utterances against the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, alleging that Obi is a stingy man and that such a man can never be the Nigerian president. In a letter to the Catholic faithful, the clergy said in any good diocese, the Catholic Bishop of Enugu, Callistus Onaga, they said Father Mbaka has violated his fraternal administration as the chief shepherd of the diocese on proper conduct of his ministry and regards to humanity. Bishop Onaga maintained that the Catholic Church has rules of her clergy, which, among other things, include respect for human dignity and staying away from partisan politics. In keeping with these directives, which Father Mbaka has not been faithful to, all Catholic faithful and the clergy have been banned from attending the Enugu Adoration Ministry activities where Father Mbaka is the chaplain till further directive from the diocese. But Ambaka has also been warned to stop further proactive, provocative prophecies that put the image of the church in doubt and abide by the doctrines of the church that brought him into priesthood. Now, this was coming from the bishop of, um, of the Enugu Diocese. And you see, uh, when you, we talk about like the, they actually refer to prophecies, I'm going to, I'm going to bring some catalogs of Ejike Mbaka's um, fruitless and useless prophecies that he gave in the name of giving prophecies. And I wonder that, in fact, I'm not going to preempt it. I'm going to bring it. You will see even when he swore uh, to resign as a priest, if ever that prophecy failed. So this is just an update. And to reiterate what I said, Eji Kembaka should not just be suspended. I think he should be derogated. He should just, uh, you know, leave whatever he's doing as a priest and fully go into the world of business or even into the world of 419 because he's a scammer. His prophecy will always favor those that give him money. And I wonder when God has started being induced by, you know, um, I think it is the business of the highest bidder gets it, just like they do in their bazaar. The highest bidder gets it. And so he, he has brought that spirit of bazaar into the affairs of his ministry and prophecy. And I, I still just wonder why people believe such a scamming man. Um, well, I love I, 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 I I'll I'll leave you to um you know to put down your comments in the comment section. Let's know what you think about this. For me, I think this is a very good development. It is good riddance to bad rubbish, and I wish he never returned to the pulpit. God bless you, and everyone of you. I'll be seeing you in the next video till then. From me to you, shalom.